everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One. Two, three, namaste. There, now we're ready to begin. And today we have a special story, the story of beauty and the beast. Let's begin in our beast pose. Coming up to stand, everyone. We take our feet nice and wide, turn our toes out and bend our knees. Now we take our hands in front of us, drop our middle three fingers down and bring our thumbs to our head to make our beastie horns. Now we stick out our bottom teeth to show off our beasty teeth. Very good. Now long ago, the beast was a prince, but was turned into a beast as a punishment for being selfish and mean. A witch cast the spell. Let's do our witch pose. Standing tall, we come up onto one toe. We lift our elbows and our fingers and make them all witchy. And we make our face all witchy as well, going, oh. She not only turned the prince into a beast, she turned all of his servants into household objects, like teapots and clocks. She gave him a magic rose on which she placed a curse. Let's do our rose pose. Coming to sit on our bottoms, we bend our knees. We scoop one arm under one leg and lift it up. And we scoop our other arm under the other leg, drawing our heels together, opening our fingers wide, lifting our chest to the sky like a beautiful rose. You have until the last petal falls to find love and be loved in return, or you will remain a beast forever. And so, feeling ashamed for looking like a beast, he hides himself away in his castle. Coming onto our knees, everyone, we fold all the way forwards, hiding ourselves away with his servants and his rose and a magic mirror, which means he can see things happening far away. Ten years later, we meet Bell. Let's do our Bell butterfly pose. Coming up to sit, we draw the soles of our feet together, taking our knees out wide and fluttering our knees up and down as we say, Bonjour, Bell. Bell loves books. So let's open our feet like they're a book and fold ourselves forwards like we're burying our heads in the book. Belle dreams of a life of adventure beyond this little town and to get away from Gaston, who's a macho hunter and wants Belle to be his little wife. Let's do our Gaston pose. Coming up to stand, feet wide, arms wide, making our hands into fists and showing off our muscles. Gaston thinks he's the best. Let's give our muscles a kiss but he's actually a big bully. Belle's father, her papa, Maurice, has just finished a new invention, an automatic wood chopping machine. Let's do our wood chopper pose. Standing with our feet nice and wide, we crisscross our fingers behind our back, stretch our arms back behind us, and after three, we fold forwards with a chop. Ready? One, two, three. Chop! and all the way up. Perhaps this could be how they make their fortune. Maurice takes his invention to the fair to try and win first prize. He goes on his horse, Philippe. Let's do our horse pose. Coming down onto one knee, we bring our hands to our heart and we lift our arms up high above our head. Now we rock forwards and backwards going. But at some point, Maurice and Philippe take a wrong turn. Let's lift ourselves up, turn to face the other way and drop down onto our knee on the other side. Oh dear, they're lost. It's dark and they're being chased by a pack of hungry wolves. 
Let's do our wolf pose. Coming onto our hands and knees, tucking our toes and pressing our hips up to the sky as we howl. Ow! Philippe is terrified and he bucks Maurice off his back. Stepping forwards, let's do a little donkey kick. Ready? One, two, three. Kickety kickety kick. Very good, everyone. Oh no! Philippe gallops off home, leaving Maurice in the woods. Oh dear. Maurice manages to find the gates of the beast's castle. Let's do our gate pose. Coming up high on our knees, we stretch one arm up to the sky and our leg to the side. Now we open up the gate with a whoop. He gets in just in the nick of time and he closes the gate behind him. Coming back to two knees, leg to the other side, arm to the sky and ooh. He goes into the castle where he meets all of the beast's servants who are all household objects that talk. There's Lumiere, the candelabra. Let's do our candle pose. Coming to lie on our backs, everyone. Legs long, arms wide. Now we lift up one leg and lift up two legs, twinkling our toes like they're the flames of the candelabra. Very good. Then there's Cogsworth, the clock, coming up to stand like a very smart butler. Arms by our side, feet together. And let's tell the time with our arms. 12 o'clock. 3 o'clock. 6 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Very good, everyone. There's Mrs Potts, who's a teapot. Let's do our teapot pose. Turning our toes out wide, we bend our knees. We bring one hand onto our waist to be our handle and our other hand to the side to be our spout. And there's Mrs Pot's son, Chip, who's a teacup. Let's do our teacup pose. Standing tall, crossing our legs, sitting down on our bottoms with our legs crossed. We crisscross our fingers and put them behind our heads in our teacup pose. Then there's Sultan, who's the footstool dog. Let's do our dog pose. Coming onto our hands and knees, tucking our toes and pressing our hips up to the sky, going woof, woof. Now Sultan may not have a tail anymore, but he's got tassels to wag. So let's lift our leg and give it a good wag. Waggy, waggy, waggy. Very good, everyone. Then there's Fifi, the feather duster. Let's walk our feet in towards our hands and roll up to stand. Now Fifi is very glamorous. Let's lift up our arm and hold our foot towards our bottom to show off our feather plume. Ooh la la! Maurice is welcome and he comes in to warm himself up by the crackling fire. Let's do our crackling fire pose. Cross our legs, sitting on our bottoms, coming down onto our elbows and twinkling our fingers like they're the crackling flames of the fire. In prowls the beast. Let's prowl, coming onto our hands and knees, everyone. We stretch one leg out behind us and our opposite arm forwards as we say, and the other side, stretching out our other leg behind us, our other arm forwards and rawr. He is angry to see this intruder in his castle, sitting by his fire. So he takes Maurice and he locks him in the dungeon. Coming to sit with our ankles crossed and our arms crossed. Oh dear. Sitting with our legs crossed, nice and tall. Back in the village, Belle is telling Gaston yet again that no, she doesn't want to marry him. When all of a sudden, Philippe the horse returns without Maurice. Coming into our horse pose. Up onto one knee, hands together at our hearts, lifting up high. Belle gets on to Philippe and rides with him back to the castle where her father was last seen. She goes in, watched by the servants who think perhaps she could be the one who breaks the curse. Lumiere guides the way to her father's cell using his candlelight. Let's do our candle pose again. Coming to lie on our backs, arms wide, legs up in the air, 
twinkling our toes like the flames of the candle. <gasps> Belle is so relieved to find him, but how on earth will she get him out? When in prowls the beast again. Let's prowl again, everyone. Coming up onto our hands and knees. We stretch one leg out behind us, our opposite arm forwards, and we go and the other side, stretching our leg behind us, arm forwards and again, he's angry to see another intruder in his castle. And this one is looking at him, coming to sit with our legs crossed, hands together at our hearts. Belle is fascinated by the beast and a little bit terrified, but she has an idea. Take me instead of my father. The beast thinks about this idea. Well, as long as you agree to stay forever, that you never go into the Forbidden West Wing, and you have dinner with me tonight, you've got a deal. So Belle bows in agreement. She's so relieved that her father can go free, but slightly worried about what's ahead of her. Oh dear. Sitting up nice and tall, Back in the village, in the village tavern, Gaston is holding court, sitting in his hunter's throne. Let's do our throne pose. Coming up to stand, everyone, we take our feet hip distance, bend our knees, and sweep our arms up above our head in our throne pose. He's plotting how he's going to get Belle to marry him. Hmm, when all of a sudden, Maurice, her father, bursts into the tavern wildly, coming all the way down to Crouch, everyone. And let's do a big jump like Maurice bursting into the tavern. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Help! He's wild, desperate, telling everyone that Belle has been taken prisoner by a beast. Coming up to stand, Seeing him so crazed and mad like this gives Gaston an idea for how he will get Belle to marry him. Back in the castle, Belle is lying on her bed. Come to lie on our backs, everyone. Arms out wide, lifting up our knees. She twists over one way, feeling sad and refusing to go to dinner with the rude beast. Then she twists over the other way, She's ignoring the beast's bad manners, shouting through the bedroom door. And the beast, doesn't he realise that she could be his only hope of breaking this curse? Later on, Belle's a bit hungry, so she stands up and she tiptoes out of her room. Lumiere and the other servants are delighted to serve her at the grand table. Let's do our table pose. Sitting on our bottoms, bending our knees, feet flat, hands behind us, we lift up our hips. They serve up the most wonderful show. Kicking our legs like we're dancing like the spoons. Be our guest, be our guest, be our guest sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed. Later on, they take Belle on a tour of the castle, but she manages to sneak away to the Forbidden West Wing, where she finds a framed picture. Holding onto our opposite elbows and lifting our arms above our head, let's do a smile like we're a framed picture. Ding! It's of a very handsome prince. Who could this be, Belle wonders, lowering our hands. Then she finds the magic rose, coming into our rose pose. Untangling our legs, we scoop one arm under one leg and scoop the other arm under the other, drawing our heels together, opening our fingers wide and lifting our heart and chest to the sky. It's beautiful. But all of a sudden, in comes the beast, roaring at Belle like a lion. Let's do our lion pose. Up onto our knees, everyone. After three, we're going to do a big roar, sticking out our tongue. Ready? One, two, three. Rah! The beast tells Belle to get out. Belle jumps up and she begins to run, 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 run out of the castle where she finds Philippe 
her horse. Coming into our horse pose. Down onto one knee, hands to her heart, reaching up high above our heads. She gallops off into the woods. Where? The pack of hungry wolves are waiting for her. Oh no, coming back into our wolf pose. Onto our hands and knees, tucking our toes and pressing our hips up to the sky. Let's do a big howl, ready? Howl! Just in time, the beast arrives to save them both like a warrior. Let's do our warrior two pose. Stepping our foot between our hands, we cartwheel our arm all the way round and we bend into our front knee as we go. Rawr. Now we jump and do it on the other side. Ready? Rawr. Very good, everyone. He fends off the wolves, but the poor beast is injured. So Belle has to heave him up onto Philippe's back. Standing with our feet wide, crisscrossing our fingers behind our back, stretching our arms behind us, we fold forward slowly as we say, heave, and rolling up to stand. Goodness me, she takes the beast back to the castle where she kneels by his side to nurse his wounds. She thanks the beast for saving her life something softens between them. They're becoming friends. Back in the village, Gaston is making a sneaky plan. Let's come into our sneaky plan squat pose. Coming up onto our feet, taking our legs nice and wide, we snuggle our arms in and we join our fingertips together like we're making a sneaky plan. He's with Monsieur de Arc, who runs the lunatic asylum. If you arrest Maurice Bell's father, then surely she will agree to marry me. Monsieur de Arc is mean, and so he likes this evil plan. They go to arrest Maurice, but he's already gone to try and rescue Bell by himself. Coming all the way up to stand. Meanwhile, at the castle, Belle and the Beast are falling in love. Belle swishes around in a gold ball gown, taking our feet wide, arms wide, and let's swish. Here we go. Swish, 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 swish. They eat and they laugh and they dance in the amazing ballroom. Let's do our dancer pose. Standing up tall, we reach one arm up and we take our foot behind us now. We try and kick our foot into our hand. Kick, 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 kick as much as we can to come into our dancer pose. Very good. Coming back to stand and let's try it on the other side. Reaching our arm all the way up, hand to the side. We take hold of our foot, trying not to wobble as we kick our foot into our hand. Kick, 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 coming into our dancer pose on the other side. Very good, everyone. Coming back to stand. They're having a wonderful time, although Belle is feeling sad. She's missing her father. So the beast shows Belle the magic mirror so she can see what her father is doing. Let's do our magic mirror pose. Sitting on our bottoms, we join the soles of our feet together, making a big diamond shape with our legs. Now we fold forward to have a look in it. Oh no! She sees her father, but he's all alone. He's on his hands and knees struggling through the woods. He looks sick. The beast releases Belle to go and save him giving her the magic mirror so she can remember him by. Belle gets onto Philippe, her trusty horse, to ride out and find her father, coming into our horse pose. Onto one knee, bringing our hands together at our hearts, reaching up high. Let's rock forwards and back as we go. She finds her father and she takes him back to their house in the village. Let's do our house pose. Coming up to stand, feet wide, arms wide, hands up above our heads. Very good. She gets him better and she uses her magic mirror to prove to Gaston and Monsieur de Arc that her father is not crazy and that the beast is indeed real. 
Let's do our beast pose, turning our toes out, bending our knees and stretching our hands in front of us. We drop our middle three fingers down and bring our horns onto our head, showing off our beast teeth. Gaston sees this and also sees how much Belle is clearly in love with the beast. He is so enraged and jealous that he goes to the castle to kill the beast. Coming to sit with our legs out long. At first, he fires arrows at the beast, reaching forwards to grab our foot, drawing our knee all the way back and reaching forwards to take aim. After three, he fires one, two, three, fire! But the beast isn't fighting back. So he fires another arrow. Let's do one on the other side. Picking up our other foot now, drawing it all the way back, stretching forwards to touch our toes, taking aim. One, two, three, fire! But the beast huddles up, hugging his knees. He is so heartbroken, missing Belle. He doesn't think it's worth it anymore. When all of a sudden, who should return, galloping along towards the castle on Philippe? It's Belle! Let's do our Belle butterfly pose. Drawing the soles of our feet together, our knees out wide, fluttering our knees to say, Bonjour, Belle! The beast is so delighted to see her that he begins to fight back. Coming up to stand, everyone, jumping our feet wide and our arms wide. He throws Gaston all the way over, one way! And all the way over, the other way! But he spares his life as he climbs up to the balcony to Belle. Up I go, up I go, up I, up I, up I go. But just as he reaches her, Gaston catches up with him and he lunges at the beast. Coming to stand tall, we take a big step forward, coming into a lunge pose. He reaches his hunting knife high above his head as he lifts up and he thrusts himself all the way forwards, plunging the knife into the beast's back. But as he does so, he begins to fall, tumbling down from the balcony, from the highest tower of the highest roof, all the way down to the ground, to his death. But the beast is badly wounded. Belle cradles him in her arms, sitting with our legs out long. She takes him, holding him gently. And as he takes his dying breath, with tears running down her face, she tells him that she loves him, just as the last petal on the rose falls. All of a sudden, magic sparkles begin to rain down from the sky. Sitting with our legs crossed, using our fingers to pitter-patter all over our faces and our heads and our chests and our bodies, something magical is happening. The beast begins to rise. Let's see if we can rise without touching our hands on the floor. Here we go. All of a sudden, the beast's heart lifts up towards the sky. He begins to turn, transforming from a beast into the most wonderful, handsome prince. A very much alive prince standing there before Belle, who looks at him like a mountain, coming to stand, feet hip distance, arms by our sides. She recognises this prince. It's him, the prince in the picture, but he also looks like her beast. The curse has broken and all of the servants are back to their old selves. Belle opens her arms, the prince opens his, and together they hug, they embrace, and they dance once again around the ballroom, watched on by everyone in delight. Let's lower our arms and take a minute now to relax. We come to lie on our backs with our arms and legs long, 
taking a big deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. Oh, it's nice to be still, to be calm after such an adventure. We enjoy this moment and think about all that Beauty and the Beast has to teach us. That real beauty isn't about what someone looks like. It's about what's within, what's in their hearts. It's about kindness, what's inside. Beauty isn't all about what a person looks like. It's about how they behave. And real beauty can be found in kindness and care, which are also at the root of love. We enjoy a moment now, thinking of someone that we love and how their kindness is what makes them beautiful. And when we are kind to others, there is beauty in us. It's time to wake up now. So slowly we begin to wiggle our toes and wiggle our fingers. We hug our knees into our chest and we roll onto our sides, opening our eyes to come back to sit with our legs crossed. We bring our hands together at our hearts and we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Wow, you were amazing in the Beauty and the Beast adventure. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye.